But then it, they can't admit it because then they did the same crime. <laughs> <laughs> See, dude, the StarCraft storyline is full of plot holes. This is just another one, man. Oh, come oh. on. Oh, Loco. Oh, spoiler alert. You haven't played the campaigns yet. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Who Wants to Be a Grandmaster? The brand new StarCraft 2 game show in which two contestants compete in four different rotating games against each other to find out who is the real Grandmaster. Whoever wins the most games will be crowned Grandmaster. Let's jump right into it. Game 1. Guess the player. In Guess the Player, the contestants are given up to 10 hints to figure out which well-known SC2 pro gamer we are looking for. Whenever they buzz in, they get to guess. But if that guess is wrong, they are banned from guessing for a whole 10 seconds, giving their opponent a lot of time and hints to figure it out himself. First to three points wins. Are both of you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. For the first player, he started his esports journey for the team's Ace of Spades and My Insanity. He ended his first DreamHack group stage 3 to 2, but still was knocked out by a single lost map. He got into StarCraft 2 through his father. <laughs> his current illegal luck rating is 3233. Rainer! It's Rainer! Oh, There's no way oh, you actually true. know the illegal like ratings. No, but I okay okay. No, okay, it's high. Th th yeah. It's a really high rating. Yeah, it's a really high rating. And I, in my insanity, I didn't know Ace of Space. In my insanity, Rainer was in there. Uh, so I was thinking Stardust or Rainer in 2015, yeah. his first tournament. That was a big, you know. Oh, yeah, I love it. That's a really good one, actually. Yeah. Okay, <sighs> well played. That was That's... that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm no good at this one. I can already tell I'm no good at this one at all. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Don't worry, Loco. You, there will be games that you know require less this intelligence is, this is later like a, on. <laughs> this is like a history test, man. Like uh, I, I've been watching this game for a long time, but yeah, but fun history, you know, things that you find very interesting as well that yeah, you probably true. watched happen unfold in front of you, you know, live. You were yeah, there, yeah, Loco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably I never cast, thought I was going to be you probably cast at group stage. We go back into your YouTube channel. We'll see. We'll I, see I the was there. I was there in Barcelona. Was that? I don't know. No, was, that was uh, WESG. Oh, oh, that was that WESG. Was, oh yeah, my right. god! He's, just, he's I'm unbelievable. Off here. Yeah, never mind. Round two might be a little bit harder. His birthday is on August eighteenth. <laughs> How would I know everybody's birthday? I can barely remember my own. He has won at least one GSL event. From 2011 to 2016, he was playing for CJ Entis. He fulfilled his mandatory Korean military service in 2017. His first Premier Tournament win was IEM Season 8 in Singapore. He joined DKZ Gaming in March. Hero! This year. Hero! Harshton was first. Hero. You were first. And yeah. it is indeed Hero. My god, 2017? That's what threw I, me off a little bit, man. Yeah, like, I thought the military service he did in 2018. I was ready to shoot it yeah. already before that. Because CJ Antis 2011 to 2016. But I, uh, man, I, I keep being afraid that I'm wrong. I mean, I don't think there's any shame in being wrong in this <laughs> quiz, man. This no, 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 is, okay, that's what you say now, but there's going to be so many smug people in the comments. <laughs> no, nah, there's no way. There's going to be people that think they're smug when they know the result, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is already match point for Harstam in round three. <laughs> I'm more of a rank roulette kind of guy, guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we all have our specialities. So apparently this isn't it. All right, let's go for round number three. He is a Terran player. Statistically, his best professional matchup is TVT. He made eight appearances in GSL Code S. Yet, his only Premier Tournament win was in the World Team League. Oh, 
Dude. He was born in 2002. And he did play for Team NV in the past. His only IEM appearance was Katowice 2022, finishing 33rd to 36th. <laughs> I should really know this, man. I, Are you holding back, Harstam? I feel like you, you have already got this one. Am I crazy? No, I have absolutely not. Like I'm, just, I'm digging in my brain. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Let's go with a very recent thing. He just got knocked out of the 2023 GSL 1 qualifiers by Ryang and Innovation, who both went on to qualify. Oh, Loco? Uh, I, th I need an answer. I think it... No, it's not TY. I was thinking TY, but that's not correct. All right, that's 10 seconds of not answering for you. I, I answered, didn't I? Yeah, but it's wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That means. Yeah, right. you get a punishment. Otherwise, you could just say whatever you want. Come on, Loco. No, nah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, let's continue. Since leaving License to Kill in fall 2022, he is without a team. And I was really hoping we are not getting to the last hint because I'm probably gonna pronounce that terribly. His Romanized name is Jeong Ja Yeong. Would anyone like to guess? Loco. I will guess. Percival? That is correct. Oh. I wasn't entirely sure. I was just guessing here, but... All right, all right, all right. At least getting a point. Sick knowledge. Was it the GSL one that got you? Well, that's what kind of threw me off. Because, like, who, who would qualify for that many GSLs? but then get eliminated in the round of 36, you know what I mean? Yeah, I I was completely thinking incorrectly. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah, a rough no. one. TY made absolutely no sense either, right? Like, he's won, <laughs> he's won a little bit more. Yeah, and also that. born in 2002. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> the GSO qualifier threw me off a little bit. I'm not sure exactly who played in that, but I know some <clears> of the, the older guys decided to come back. But yeah, 2002 <laughs> doesn't line up. He already did his mandatory military service literally a decade earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I got a point. That's all that matters. <sighs> That's a good start. <laughs> For the fourth player, we will go a little bit back into the past. Because he is currently 32 years old. One of his nicknames was Jürgen. <laughs> Uh, His last Premier Tournament win was 2013 WCS Season 1 Europe in the Premier League. Uh, oh, MVP. I, it is indeed. MVP. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I think it was Red Eye that called him Jürgen, right? Way back in the day. I have no clue. I just, I, I, I remember that period of Starcraft very well for some reason, because I was never qualifying for these tournaments. So I remembered everyone who was above me was like, these guys are going down. <laughs> MVP. Oh. Oh, I thought it was Nesty or, I don't know. Yeah. You know, tricky. I think that the tournament that he won there, that was also the one where you had the most epic throw of all time between Tefal and MVP. Uh, Dude, that's such a long time ago. It's like, it like 200 <laughs> supply of Tefal against 80 supply of MVP, where I think at some point he's down like 60 workers or something ridiculous. <laughs> and, MVP, and, and Tefal keeps A moving roaches up, up a tiny ramp into tanks. is great. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> some, some background info. <laughs> that's sick. Game two. In-game sounds. The contestants will hear a specific SC2 related sound and have to guess in secret what that sound could be. Whoever is closest wins the round. But to get the point you have to at least hit the correct unit or structure or whatever. Whoever has the most points after 5 rounds wins. Are both of you ready for the first sound? See. Si. Yes. <laughs> Please lock your first guess in. What? 
This sounds have... like someone has been abducted and they're asking for the ransom. <laughs> what in the world was that sound? <laughs> Either I didn't get the full quality of the sound effect or like... <laughs> what? <laughs> that made nothing... What? That made no sense. I've never heard this in my life. It's a protos thing. That's all I catch there. That's all I can figure out. At this point, the observant viewer, or rather listener, might be a little bit confused. Well, as this was the first recording, we had some slight technical issues. Let me just show you what they heard. <laughs> yeah, that was quite different. But after some quick troubleshooting, we are back on track. Oh, very different. Oh, wow, yeah, that's very different. Okay, I threw it in. Uh... Okay, I sent you a message too, but I, I, <laughs> I'm not right. sure. Hashtag, would you like to start? What did you guess? I guess the Ravager Bile. The Ravager Bile. And what did Loco say? I said a Ravager Attack. I, I think, yeah, I think it's... It sounded kind of small, it sounded kind of zergy, and it was also throwing something at a distance. Yeah, an impact. It had a pow, you know, it was like it had a Bile. Bile sound. Yeah, but the thing about Bile is that you normally rapid fire it, right? So you're like... That's you what hear you really five hear. at the same time, so you never <laughs> hear it isolated. Oh no, <laughs> you, your nasty Zerg tricks biting you in the bum here, potentially. Well, I suppose then Loco's high APM actually screwed him over because it is the Ravager Bio. Come on! It's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I said Ravager attack. The bow is... Okay, fine. Oh, fine. Yeah, fine. I'll give up. More specific, Loco. Yeah. Let's continue with round number two. Listen and enter your guess. I went very specific this time around. <laughs> Danny, I see that, I see that. But is it correct? I don't know, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, well, that is very, very interesting. Let's start with Loco this time. Loco, what do you think? What's the specific guess? I, I It kind of sounded to me like a factory landing on an add-on. So I wrote down factory landing. I think it's either a starboard, a factory, or a barracks, but... Okay, I yeah. had when you click on a factory, <laughs> which I, I, I guess is a bit too general, but I thought if it was a general click, this is the sound it makes in my head. Well, you may be right. Since you both guessed factory, it's obviously wrong, because this is the Thor switching from the Javelin oh, missile launcher to the Punisher is. cannons. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Oh, that's one of those sounds though that you don't actually actively hear when you're playing the game because like you don't you don't have your screen alone. on that for three seconds yeah. right to like listen to the thing change and the Thor is never alone like you see Thor's in late game against Zerk you know and there's more yeah. sounds to listen to not you don't listen to the Thor then you listen to the the Zerk victory music at that point already <laughs> late game is DVD, you know that's not available for Terran. <laughs> you know there's already too many birds out yeah, it doesn't matter anymore doesn't matter anymore. Life as we know it has ended. All right, hamster. <laughs> Let's go with sound number three. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Uh... Like, the thing is, you never listen to these things in isolation, right? Like, that's what makes it so tricky. I think if I were to see the... Yeah, well, if you see the picture at the same time, it doesn't really... <laughs> it's not a very good challenge. But then it'd God, be very if I only had the video playing with this, it would be so easy. 
I could I could tell you what the unit looks like. <laughs> this, this will be our next segment uh, in game video. <laughs> in game, what unit, unit is, is this? this? <laughs> <laughs> you have a Zerkling? <laughs> what sound does this unit on the screen make? You have both oh, contestants that would trying be amazing. to. Amazing. But Loco, what do you think this sound was, even though you didn't have the video? I thought it was the observer move command. Mm, and Harsem? I thought it was a, a probe move command. It was indeed a move command, but it was neither the probe nor the observer because it was the sentry. Uh, nobody makes sentries? Yeah, it's been a while since I had one of those. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> The next one might be a little bit easier, so listen closely. What? This one's easier? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, if this is easier, I hope we have a real easy one for the final. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I'm gonna listen to it again, sorry. I mean, I need to get something right here, but I have absolutely no idea. It's just not Zerk. That's all I can really determine. Uh, okay. I don't know. You said it was easier, so I think my answer is wrong just based off of that. But That is indeed true. But Harsim, let's start with you. Immortal shooting. Immortal shooting and uh, loco. No, that was way too, too quiet for an immortal shooting, right? It didn't sound very impactful. Hamster said this one was easier. I went with an answer that I think is completely wrong because of that, but I said Hyde Templar auto attack. Again, both of you are correct with the movement. It is an auto attack, but the adept. Oh. Really? Yes. I thought that you would easily get that because this is one of the sounds you really hear in the early game during the harass. Yeah, I just I couldn't place it at all. Yeah, me neither. That's wild. <laughs> So it all comes down to the very last sound, and this one might not be so easy. Unlike the last one, which was a, a walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> all right, here we go. the wrong chat harsh them oh you're typing in the wrong chat yeah <sighs> harsh them i need your answer okay harsh them spawning pool spawning pool a structure <laughs> and local oh that could actually be so i i, I <laughs> I went with Hydralisk on creep, because it kind of sounded like something so sliding slithering. around on creep. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know, man. I have no idea what sound it makes. Because you never hear that... Does it even have a... No, that would be the Hydra movement speed, I guess. So that's Or the, the Hydra movement sound. <coughs> it definitely doesn't sound like that. Okay, no, my, my answer is definitely wrong. Well, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here, because Loco definitely is closer. But I'm sh think you are not close enough for the point because I think it I was am. generate creep from the overlord. Oh yeah, that's, my that's god! That's definitely not close enough. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. You did say creep, but I think it's sadly not enough. <sighs> Which means game number two also goes to Harstam, who is now up two to zero. Wow! This is a disaster so far, guys. I'm doing a dance, by the way, if you're wondering what the noise was. <laughs> I'm showing off my guns to the camera. For, uh, Just emoting the opponent when he's for, on for, the ground. Yeah, but he couldn't see it, so I figured I had to tell him as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. I can imagine it. Yeah, I had both of my arms in the air, and I was alternating between looking at my left and my right bicep. 
<laughs> Think you have a good image in your head now what I just look like. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I feel very, uh, very tortured right now. Big grin on my face as well, though. <laughs> Me too, but I. <laughs> not because I'm doing so hot. <laughs> Game three. Fact or falsehood. The contestants are giving a statement and they have to decide in secret if it's fact or falsehood. A game as straightforward as it goes. Whoever has the most points after five rounds wins. Let's start. Are you ready for fact number one? Well, fact. I'm gonna go with fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. True. I should call it something different. Right? Potential fact number one. <laughs> yeah. Well, statement. All right. That's actually a good point. Let's start with statement number one. Every race has at least one unit that is neither light nor armored. Neither light nor armored? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any of these two attributes. Can I think about it, or do we have a timer for this one, too? You have a timer. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right. Loco, what did you say? Uh, it sounds right, so I went with true, but I am not entirely sure. Um, do you have any units in mind that fit that description? Well, I know the Ravager for effect is neither light nor armored. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not exactly sure, though, about all the other unit types for Terran and Protals, but there are a bunch that we don't see that often, so, so I feel like it's probably true. Awesome. Do you have any units from the other races? I, I had Archon for Protoss, which I, mm -hmm. I think is neither yeah. light nor armored. I couldn't think of anything Terran, but I also had one for Zerg, so I was like, I had two out of three. What's the chances? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the Raven or something. That it definitely like... is the Ghost. Ooh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, of course. <laughs> so yes, that makes sense. it is Both sides effect. Yeah. Oh. Wait, you just went off a single unit? You didn't even think of a Protoss or a Terran no, unit. I, you just well, like, I mean, it Zerg. sounded right in the my head. Okay. Is there, I mean, <laughs> surely. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> in my defense, I've only been playing this game for 13 years. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't even have ham uh, we didn't even have uh, Ravagers. So, you know. That's true. Keep the streak in, <clears throat> uh, hopefully, because we are making the 180 turn in statement number two. In StarCraft II lore, ghosts can read other people's minds. <laughs> You're a big lore enthusiast, aren't you, Arsten? <laughs> How many times have you played the campaigns? I, well, I've played the Wings of Liberty campaign almost to completion. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was just laughing because if this is true, I bet there's some absolutely wild fanfics out there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in, in, in fantasy settings, being able to read minds would be way too OP. And it's really difficult to write a story. So I went, I went with no. I, I went with false as well. Well, I hope I am able to read because what I've read it's a fact. Really? <laughs> Apparently, Sarah Kerrigan did it to Jim Reno when they first met. Although, Ooh. technically, ghosts are forbidden to do so. But oh. she could still <laughs> sense his intentions. Forbidden fruits, though. Huh? They... Wait, they can sense intentions? Is that the same as reading people's minds? They can read minds, are forbidden to do so, and she didn't want to, but subconsciously, she still senses. intentions. If I could read minds, I'd be doing it all the time. Like, nobody can tell if you're reading minds then anyway. The other ghost. But then it, they can't admit it because then they did the same crime. <laughs> <laughs> See, dude, the StarCraft storyline is full of plot holes. This is just another one, man. It makes no uh, sense. Can never report the crime. I really hope I got this right. Otherwise, this will be edited out for sure. <laughs> no. Whoa, no, 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 no. Hold no, up. Keep it this was good. I liked it. All right, let's uh, go with... Statement number three, which is another <coughs> section of StarCraft II again. Carex was one of the initial six co-op commanders at launch. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even know which one Carex is. I feel like I've played it. 
Ask them, I need the answer. Alright. Loco, you are a co-op master, for sure. I have played so much co-op. Um, I'm trying to think of the second Protoss commander that was there at the start of the game. I know Artanis definitely was. I, c <laughs> I still can't come up with the second one. I went with false, but it may actually be true, I'm not sure. But Harsim, co-op companions. False. You, you have to know. It's false. false. Yeah. Why is it false? I think Zero Tool was the second Protoss one. No, no, no. Zero Tool was super late. Oh, okay. Well, that was my thinking. I was like, oh, Zero Tool. <laughs> this is an important character. Surely put that one in fast. I was like, yeah. No. Zero Tool is technically dead. So they didn't add him until much later. Oh, spoiler alert. You haven't played the campaigns yet. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed false because he was the first one added afterwards. Oh. So who was the second Protoss commander at launch? <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's okay. I haven't looked that up, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Round four, this is your time to shine. Loco. Statement four, Ventral Sex once affected all overlords simultaneously. Harstam. What did you say? True. Okay. Short. Loco. Yeah, it was true. I think it was like 200 gas. It was super expensive. <laughs> super Nobody expensive, ever got yeah. it. <laughs> no one got it. <clears throat> I saw it used once in a Daybreak Lucifer versus Stefano. They would play that a lot. This was a ladder game I watched. And Stefano got it. And every time Lucifer would send in Hellions to harass, he would pick all of his drones in the Overlord. That's the one of the only times I think I recall it being being used. It's a, a memory this was in the game for a good long time, though. Yeah, 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 six, seven years or so. I was there for a while. Yeah. Well, you both are right. It is indeed true, and it also was two hundred, two hundred. Oh. So it all comes down to the last and final statement, mm. number five. With both sides fully upgraded and without any micro. Two immortals can kill a planetary fortress without any casualties. Is that true? Uh, whatever you go with, Harstam, I'll go with the opposite. Is that an option here? <laughs> no, you have to send it in. Uh. Harstam? <laughs> you know what okay. that word means. <laughs> Harstam, you are pretty much a Terran nowadays on your streams. What did you say? I said... Well, I meant false, but I sent false because I got worried that the timer might run out. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It has an F in there, so it's yeah. fine. What about loco? Uh, I went with true because I don't think it is, but I figured Harston was going to answer false, and therefore my biggest chance for winning is to go with true. All right, then I would say, why don't we just check? Our duty is unending. Oh? Oh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Easiest win of my life! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well done, Loco. And with that, Loco also is on the board with his first game win. Congratulations. I had to play some 700 IQ strategies, but we got some points in the end. <laughs> game 4, Odd 1 Out. In Odd 1 Out, the contestants will see four StarCraft 2 related pictures and have to find something that three of them have in common, while one is the Odd 1 Out. Whoever buzzes in gets to guess. If it's wrong, they are banned from guessing for 10 seconds. First to three points wins. All right, are both of you ready? Yes. Yep. Round number one. We have the Marauder, the Roach, the Adept, and the Hellion. Loco. Uh, the Hellion only costs minerals. The others also cost gas. That is correct. Three of them cost gas, but the Hellion doesn't. Other answers would have been that uh, everyone but the Hellion is biological. All but one. Ooh. All but the Hellion have single target. 
That is also true. Yeah. I literally had it, but I was I forgot to put my hand on the buzzer. Loco locked out yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I knew this one, but Loco. Yeah, yeah, no. That's fine. That's okay. We all get lucky sometimes. <laughs> Maybe you're going to get lucky in round two, but I doubt it, because in round two we have the Spire, the Nidus Network, the Infestation Pit, and the Hydralisk Den. All but Hasha. the Nid oh, yeah. uh, all but the Nidus Network uh, can uh, help you produce units. So all of them allow you to produce units, while the Nidus Network doesn't allow yeah. that. Exactly. Dude, that was Perfect. the slowest answer I've ever heard, man. You took the full 10 seconds well, to I, answer I, I, that I was one. Poor I see at how it is. It. I wanted to do it in the proper all but one, but I, I think as long as in the mind is correct, I can say it however <laughs> I want. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Also, the timer was still going, so it's completely allowed. Yes. All but the Nidus work unlock units or yeah. also upgrades would have been possible as well. Ah, mm. right. Number three, which is something very different. So be aware because we have Golden Wall LE, Near Humanity LE, Blackburn LE, and Stargazers LE. That is a quick buzz from Loco. Yeah, Stargazers, Blackburn, and Golden Wall all have a different symmetrical layout than Neo Humanity. Because yes. like they're horizontally mirrored. Exactly, that's what I was looking for. Diagonal. Horizontally mirrored. Perfect. What? But there was so much more. Yeah. Because all of them have... Uh, gold, except Neo. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> wow. Very, very nice from Loco here with an extremely <laughs> quick buzz. Yeah. What the heck? You're so fast. My hand was still in my pants. He's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you missed round one for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well... You know, you gotta use the opportunity when you have one. I'm not gonna be a head versus loco the entire time. <laughs> All right, this puts loco on match point. First of three wins. And in round four, he might be at a disadvantage because we have the carrier, the zealot, the dark templar, and the observer. Loco. Loco was first. Uh, the Observer is the only unit that can attack. The others can. That sadly is not true because the carrier cannot attack but oh. can only release oh, the interceptors. On. I'm Loco. sorry. It's, it is the thing. Harstam. Yeah. Uh, the Zealot only costs minerals. Everything else has a gas requirement. That is indeed not intended but true. Ba -da 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 -da. Wow, Loco dude. forgetting about the interceptor. <laughs> I was so afraid that this would happen, and I really looked on the Liquipedia page for a long time. But it what if I would have said it didn't deal damage? The carrier doesn't deal damage. The interceptor does. Okay, okay, it still count. Fair. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but it, it no, is. So good. I'm not. <laughs> But uh, technically, what I was looking for, actually, was all of them have more health than shield, but the Dark Templar, who has more shield than health. I thought <laughs> I had a hard one, but... Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have never gotten that one. That, that was easy. Easy for me. <laughs> Tough for a local, because you forgot that carriers can detect. <laughs> Especially since half my letter games over the last years have all been due to the fucking <laughs> <laughs> He loses to a unit that can't even attack. How is it possible? <laughs> Oh no, poor Loco. <laughs> poor me, man. I'm never gonna lift this down. It is all or nothing in round five, and uh, round five really isn't an easy one, and really is a curveball, because we don't have units, we don't have maps, we have Home Story Cup 19, <laughs> Home Story Cup 20, Home Story Cup 21, and Home Story Cup 22. Logo, quick! Uh, all of them were won by Cyril, except 21? Uh, that I was is there incorrect. Every... correct. Yeah. Uh, all of them were won by Cyril, except 22? 
<laughs> I'm so sad that this is correct. <laughs> I knew he had a three streak. I just couldn't. I couldn't yeah. remember who won the last one. Yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> we were there at all of them, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gave you the answer basically too. Yeah. Yeah, you phrased it beautifully. It's so sad. That's the thing I was struggling with the most. That was very sad for you. In my mind, Sarah has basically won all of them except for like three. At least from like the last six years or so, but hmm. ah, GG's man, well played. The sad thing, there were other things because all but 20 were in Krefeld. Oh uh, yeah, 20, of 20 was in Berlin. And also 2019 was the only one of them that wasn't a premier tournament, but it was a major. I could have told you something uh, that they all had in common though. Harstam underperformed at every single tournament, <laughs> Derek. <laughs> People expected more. <laughs> With that, Harstam wins the first round of Who Wants to Be a Grandmaster? With 3 to 1. Congratulations. Destruction, uh, Loco. Any words? Yeah. Yeah, no, this isn't a rank roulette, man. At least I did better towards the end. The start was a disaster for me. Yeah, it got tight. Man, my heart was beating like a machine at the end. <laughs> oh. When you started the sentence, Sarah won all. I was like, oh, this is correct. 100% loco is like an encyclopedia when it comes to Sarah. I, I, dude, if you get if you get Rotterdam for this show, yeah, Rotterdam he, is going to get all of it right. He yeah, he'll, 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 he'll have 15 points. He'll just yeah, win yeah, the yeah, next yeah, game as well. You. Yeah, he's the end boss. Yeah, <laughs> the final boss for who wants to be a grandmaster. <laughs>